Are you familiar with the little homie YBM Almighty J? Yeah. So I don't know, you know, this whole situation, you know, he got jumped, robbed, he robbed on video. He was beaten. His pants were sagging and everything. You know what I mean? These dudes was beating him and recording. Again, we've talked about this before, and I'll say it again. I do not understand this era of snitching on yourselves and recording you doing crimes. They like, want, they want, they want the rap. I don't, Everybody I don't get it. Name. I don't get it, especially if he didn't have beef with you. Now, maybe it's a private beef that we don't know, and I don't like to speak on things that I don't know. But if you really just did it because you saw him and you just really wanted to get the clout of it and you wanted to record it, you know that's stupid. Mm. You know what I mean? And I never understood what's the big deal when it comes to somebody getting robbed in the first place. Even when we were coming up and you were here like, such a guy snatched for his chain, I didn't understand what's the big deal. Somebody point a gun at you, they say, come off that chain, you can have my chain. You damn right. I, I don't understand what's the big deal. Want me to get you a gift box? Right. <laughs> <laughs> want me to get You want these shoes too? Funny, like, yeah. I, I don't understand like what that was supposed to prove. Like, you can't show up on your block again because you got to, But I'm on my block. I showed up. I lived. Isn't the goal is to come home? Is what I'm trying to understand. Yeah. So I mean, what's the, what's the big? I never understood like what's the big deal, and with YBM Almighty J, like what's the problem with him? Especially when you watch the video. Did you get a chance to see the video yourself? No, I didn't see the video. Um, he had got actually jumped by like multiple people, and they were recording it. Um, let me see if I still got it. Let me see if I can still got it right here. Let me see, cause um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure. Yo, right here. Look, look. So look. Check this out. You ready? Look. I'm ready. Look. Look at that. That's the YBN, nigga? Take his chain. Take his chain. Take his chain. That's the YBN, nigga? That's a mall? Yeah. They had a mall. They had a mall. Now, it sounds like some cloud chasing ish because who beat somebody up and be like, that's that YBM, nigga? That's that yeah. YBM? So they ain't know. They was just going at it because they just seen a lick. Now, there's a couple lessons in that. Number one, kids stop sagging because when you sag, you can't get away from nothing. You can't run. Because clearly his ass was all out. Yeah, you can't I, run with your pants down. Yeah. Number two, I don't know what kind of person you are to actually want to rob somebody who got their bare cheeks out. Like, you about to go rob somebody, they just get naked and their pants fall down. What kind of dude is you? You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's number two. So, yeah, I don't understand the big deal with that because clearly he was outnumbered. So why is it that he's looking like as like like somebody who's like, what, like a punk now? Yeah, you don't like a punk when you're getting banked. I mean, you got to survive that situation. Yeah, so, I mean, what's, what's, the, what's the big deal with that? And Jay Prince stepped out there and spoke about it. You know, he did a quote-unquote mob ties call. He tagged Funk Flex, Cardi B, and others. And, you know, I'm going to paraphrase it, but he was just saying that real street niggas you know, um, going against, um, no, he said, you know, this is the real street niggas. And he actually called the dude out who jumped YBM, YBN. Mm -hmm. um, his name is Zay. And he um, he called out Zay and his crew for robbing because he said he's personally invested in, Jay, Jay Prince said he's personally invested in uh, YBN. And, um, you know, he just said that these are moment thinkers, pretty much AKA clout chasers. And you got to put a, uh, you know, a stop to him. And he called out. He said he got ties in the Bronx. Now, people were saying Jay Prince was snitching. Mm -hmm. You think that's snitching? No, he, he calling out his man. He, he protecting his investment, protecting his people. He G-checking people. That's all. He not snitching. He said he got ties there. And if it ain't sorted out right, I can touch you. And didn't these dudes kind of snitch on themselves by putting themselves on camera? Yeah, the first they place? snitched on themselves by putting them on camera, letting everybody know that we did it. So you put yourself out there as being the one that did it. So now you got to deal with the repercussions. Now the, the big, big dog that you didn't know was around and know that, know that cared is telling you that I can reach out to you and touch you anytime I want. That's nothing, too. These young homies don't really know about the, um, you know, the, the, the legend of Jay Prince. The reach. The reach and, and the reach, the respectable reach of Jay Prince in that sense. You know, there are a lot of people that have experienced the Jay Prince, you know, but Jay Prince... You know, I don't have an issue with OGs in the culture at least coming in and having a conversation, uh, you know, speaking on things that they, th they feel like is wrong. But I don't think that he should be called a snitch for that. Now, here's the question I have for you. Now, what's the difference between that and when he stepped in with Pusha T and Drake? He told, well, he didn't, he stepped in and stopped Pusha T. Like, he just put it to a halt. He didn't. Well, he didn't stop Pusha, he stopped Drake. I mean, you know what I mean? He stopped Drake. Yeah. yeah. He told Drake not to release it because 
whatever reason that was behind it. But um, yeah, he that, he he's not a snitch in no way, form, or fashion. No, no, not at all. But I'm asking if we're praising him for stepping in. There's a lot. Of, there's certain people who are praising Jay Prince for stepping in with this situation right here. But you remember, a lot of people were upset at him stepping in on a Pusha T and Drake situation because we wanted to see the battle. You yeah, know what I mean? that's because we just wanted to we wanted to pick up, watch the ashes fall. But is it to say that overall one is right, one is wrong, or he was right on both things? It's just that one we really wanted to see because of the battle. We, one we just really wanted to see. Okay, we just really wanted to see him come back after that pusher because pusher came came extra extra hard. He did, he did, he did, he yeah, did. Pusher put a lot of sauce on that thing. Yeah, that's real. That's real. I can see it like that. I just you know I'm just hoping we get past this era of, I mean these kids nowadays they got everything that they have as far as if you got talent you can put yourself on the internet you can express yourself. I would just I like it when the youth are using these things in a positive manner to kind of put their stuff out because the thing that they have now that we didn't have is that they don't really have to go through certain layers to get their art out, to get their expression out. It's right there on their phone. But to use it to want to show that you robbed somebody and then make a rap song about it when you holding a chain, it's like, what is that really going to get you? A couple likes and people talk. Like, what is that really going to get you? It's impressionable if you um did it with on a one-on-one. You get more respect on it on that if you just beat him up and took his chain because y'all had y'all was already beefing y'all had an argument, but yeah y'all you, you don't get no points with it the way they did it. Or maybe y'all really wasn't beefing because like the way he sounded like in that voice they didn't know who the guy was until they saw him. You know what I mean? Kind of like is that that YBN? You know what I mean? That's like somebody seeing you and I and be like, is that Jay Hall? Is that DJ Academics? Like, what's that about? You know what I'm saying? So I don't get it, and I don't see the point in it. But shout out to Jay Prince for stepping in. But that also go to show you that sometimes you don't know who people are connected to. Exactly. You know what I mean? So when you make these moves and you out here going for clout and you're doing it for likes, you're going to have to understand who you, who sometimes people are connected. And just because you don't see somebody arm around somebody don't mean they're not connected. Because you take somebody like a Jay Prince, he's an OG in the game. You're not going to see him on Instagram with every sig- single situation. No. You know what I mean? Because, you know, when me and you was coming up, we didn't really see Jay Prince in videos like that and... You know what I mean? We just heard him his name getting shouted out and stuff here and there on raps. So he always kind of had this low profile. He's actually been more public now than he's ever been. But I think it's still a lesson. That's because Rap-A-Lot ain't selling records. And so that's why he stepped. Well, he got a book out, too. Because Rap-A-Lot ain't selling records. That's real. But he still <laughs> had his hand and stuff. Because, you know, Drake. Yeah, but Rap-A-Lot, because Rap-A-Lot, Rap-A-Lot ain't itself. selling records. Right. That's real. That's real. That's real. Because I can't name a Rap-A-Lot artist right now. Although we respect them, but I can't name a rap a lot artists right now. I don't know. Is rap a lot still around? Like as a label itself? Is it is anyone like I don't is know. That, you might have still... transitioned it. I don't know. But that's real. Like we don't want to assume, you know what I mean, that it's something negative, because some people do sell and transition things, like you said. So Yeah, and I don't want to visit either. So You said what? I don't want to visit either. You don't want to visit where? A visit from, from Jay Prince. <laughs> that's real. That's real. Cause if, if that's if we were live, I can see our phone ringing mysteriously right now. Mm. Did you ever hear that story about that comedian that was talking about they were going to do prank calls? He did this Twitter thread and he was talking about how they was doing they, he was doing prank calls back in like the mid two thousands, and so he said that he was in Houston and they called up Jay Prince and he was doing this voice and Jay Prince just kept saying who this who this and Jay Prince was like yo I don't know who you are but I'm I'm going I'm going to find you and so the other guy came in on the phone said yo Prince let's just say the guy's name is Mikey like yo Prince is Mikey man we just doing a prank call. He said, Jay Prince was like, oh, this Mikey? Well, I know where y'all at. I'll be there in a minute. Yo, the comedian was like, yo, I booked a flight right then and there and left Houston. He said he ain't been back since. He said, Jay Prince has no type of sense of humor. He said he is not one for play at all. He said, the way he said it on the phone, like, yo, I'm about to pull up right now. I know where y'all at. He said he dipped in that moment. Didn't even go back to his hotel room. Mm. That's crazy, yo. So, yeah, that visit, the, the stories of that visit, that stuff is real. It's real. And so don't think just because Jay Prince is chilling in Houston that he ain't got reach in the Bronx. Because I can believe it. Yeah, I mean, it's only a three-hour flight. Three-hour flight, but what, a five-second text? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, 